looks like way over there now. I haven't moved. It's okay. You can move over. Get over here. Am I in the shot? I can't see my face because uh, the microphone. Yeah, in you're in the. Am we're in the, in the center. Yeah. Okay, so should we tell the story then? Yes, let's tell the story. <laughs> How long has it been? Three weeks. It's been three weeks. Three weeks since, since yesterday. So. Three weeks from yesterday. We had our baby, which some of you knew about and were anticipating, and I said I was going to vlog the whole thing and do a happy little like, oh, here's our baby, we went to the hospital, it was great, but um, I didn't film anything because <laughs> that was the weirdest week we've ever had. It was actually insane. Like, everything that could have gone wrong, like, just went wrong. <laughs> but everything that we thought would go wrong didn't. Exactly. So very strange. in order to understand this and understand why I didn't film any of it, we have to go <laughs> back to our actual due date, which was a couple of days before we actually had our baby. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I work with my dad. Our auto shop burned. We're in the process of rebuilding that and picking up small work in between. So I work just with my dad. My dad and I work together. So Tuesday, February 23rd, my dad sent me home from work because he was experiencing like stomach flu symptoms. He had some diarrhea and he felt like he was going to puke. So he sent me home from work because he didn't really want me to get it. Yeah. And that was my actual due date as well. And that was our actual due date. We thought she was going to have a baby any minute now because mm -hmm. you were having like Braxton and Hicks and stuff. Yeah. And I was already dilated and stuff. Yeah. So, so I go home and I'm like, fine, I'll take the rest of the week off so my dad can feel better and hopefully we don't catch this. Well, <laughs> tough luck. So Hazel starts having these symptoms. Yeah. Hazel started blowing out her diaper with diarrhea and was like puking in bed. It was really sad. The, and that climaxed Thursday night, Hazel woke up like four times in the night. We had to change her bed sheets mm -hmm. and give her a bath at 3 a.m. because she pooped and puked everywhere. And it was terrible. It's so she hard is really, yeah. watching your, she's not even two yet. Her, yeah. her 18 month old, 20 month old, 22 month old. I don't know what's, <laughs> that's too, I mean like <laughs> when people say their kid is like 40 months or whatever, just saying things. She's, she's two. She'll be two next month. A month from now. Yeah. So our toddler, it's so hard watching your toddler cry and wake yeah. up puking. Mm -hmm. So we didn't get like any sleep Thursday night. So yeah. Friday night, we're getting ready for bed. Hazel is still puking and pooping all the time. Mm -hmm. And so we're exhausted from the night before. Yeah. I think we went to bed like somewhat early. Yeah. Too. So we're getting in bed at 9 p.m. And Cassie pukes. Yeah. And by 10 p.m., I'm puking. <laughs> Literally every hour, one of us was puking yes. or had the diarrhea. We had one bathroom. Let's one, just, let's just bathroom, put that out here. We each had a bowl uh -huh. next to our bed to puke in <laughs> because I could not sleep more than 20 minutes yeah. without waking up to up Chuck next to my bed and run to the bathroom. Yeah, or Hazel had just puked again. So Hazel was crying room. off and on the whole night. There was a moment where we all three were in the bathroom and yeah. I was actively puking in the sink while you were puking in the toilet, while Hazel was, was crying in the bathtub. Yeah. Because we were gonna give her a bath, but we couldn't because <laughs> we were both puking. <laughs> yeah. So, Ugh. should I tell him about the, the pulled pork I had up my nose? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a little TMI. If you don't like gross, like, the yeah. story, you just skip like 15 so, seconds. <laughs> dinner on Friday, I had eaten a big, what was it? Was it pulled pork? It was pulled pork, which I didn't end up no, eating because I felt, oh yeah, it was ribs, but I didn't eat it because I was starting she to feel She was starting sick. to feel good. I, like, I feel great. This I is just nothing. Was like, eh, so, I felt weird. So I ate like a thing of like <laughs> of pork ribs barbecue. And so when I puked at like 11 PM, I literally up chucked like a gallon Mm -hmm. of vomit and stomach fluid and the dr whatever drinks I'd had that night and pork. And I literally had it stuck up my nose <laughs> so I couldn't breathe. And I spent like 15 <laughs> minutes in the in the sink blowing my nose and like inhaling really hard to try and get so pork gross. out of my sinuses. <laughs> it was so gross. Which that alone made me want to puke. Oh, yeah. It was so, so gross. nasty. So, like never have thrown up that much in my life. Like yeah. I don't know. I didn't eat since lunch the night before, like the day before. So I I think I lost I just five wasn't pounds hungry ever. at all. And I I didn't feel sick, but I just wasn't really hungry. Yeah. And, so after yeah. by midnight we were just dry heaving. The whole rest of the night. Yeah. Again, Hazel couldn't, none of us slept. So this is two nights in a row. We haven't slept. Mm -hmm. She's nine months pregnant past her due date. Like, yeah. By three days. Like three days past my due date. So 4 a.m. <laughs> you start having contractions. I'm like in the shower because I just thrown up 
and I just like my whole you know, like your whole body just aches. So I was just in the shower and then I start like the moan. Anybody who's gone through labor or they've had like their wife, like there's just a certain moan that you have <laughs> that I have to say is very telling. Cause but I just like I don't know. But yeah, Travis was yes. like, I think you're in labor. We need to like go to the hospital. Yes. Cause I I started to panic. I'm like, this can't uh -uh. be. Cause I haven't had my camera all set up in my bag. Yeah. With, it's like a hospital bag with like my change of clothes and my <laughs> snacks. And we I were had, so ready. I was so ready for like a good <laughs> hospital visit. I mean, yeah. I, had, I had high hopes. Yeah. I mean, obviously a million things could go wrong in labor. I did not expect to have- For all of us to be sick. To be awake for 36 hours puking and then go to the hospital. Yeah. So you start having contractions and I recognize this, and I'm like time out. But it's like hard to tell because in between vomiting and the yeah, diarrhea, you thought it to be, I thought it was just my body freaking out because I had nothing to puke up again. Because it's just like, it's a weird, like when you're pregnant, so many weird things happen. Dry heaving every hour for 12 hours. Yeah. Or six hours, whatever. So I was in denial because I did not want to She was like, no, be, this can't be I did it. not want to be in labor. I'm not having contractions. This can't be contractions. Yeah. And I was like, babe, I think you're having major contractions every three minutes. We need to go. And like we already said, you were already dilated like the week before. Yeah. So the agreement was for my parents to babysit Hazel when we go to the hospital. And they were aware of that. So mm -hmm. I texted my mom and my dad at 4.30ish. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I'm pretty sure we're going to be heading to the hospital really soon. Can you get here ASAP? Yeah. And luckily, my parents woke up. And my mom was bragging to us that next day. They, apparently 17 minutes from when I texted my mom, they were at our doorstep. And it's like an Which, 11 minute drive. Yeah, so, so they, they like, like jumped out jumped of bed. Jumped up, let their dogs out, jumped yeah. in the car, drove here. So my parents got here a little before five. Yeah. To watch Hazel. Mm -hmm. So they come in and immediately they, they're like, Stinks. are you guys okay? The whole like house puke. smells like puke. And I'm flushed and I'm like trying not to pass out. And you're... In bed still? You no, were I was, I think I ended up jumping in the shower to wash my hair because I'm pretty sure there was probably puke in my yeah. hair or something like that. And Hazel's crying. And so my parents come in and I'm like, I, I'm sorry. He, like, Here's our life. Hazel's in bed. <laughs> I think she might've been in bed. I think she, yeah, she had fallen asleep again. Um, but either way. So like, here's our toddler. She's trying to sleep and she's pooping and vomiting everywhere. And we need to go to the hospital. So we grab our puke bucket and we get in the car. <laughs> To get to the hospital. Because, again, you're having contractions every, like, three minutes. Yeah. And so we get in the car, and we make it down the street and around the first corner, and I have to pull over because I'm going to throw up again. So I pull over, and I'm puking in a bucket. <laughs> you go into a contraction, and I'm like, okay, i got to get to the hospital. So I, I dump the bucket out the door, and I set my bucket down, and I go to drive. And then... <laughs> This is like so gross and humiliating, but also hilarious to me because it is past. I like, I have a contraction and then I just look at Travis and I'm like, I literally just crapped myself. <laughs> and then we just started laughing and I just wanted to cry because I was like, this is the I'm worst. I'm pretty sure you were crying. I'm pretty sure I probably did Or you were crying. too dehydrated to cry. Uh, I didn't, I like, I wasn't crying because of the pain. I was just so frustrated that this was literally how my I think like, I started labor was going. to chuckle because it just is I so like bizarre. stepped out from myself as I, I ended up going like 60 in a 45 driving. Yeah, it's like five in the morning. And I was like, this road. is like one of those scenes you see in a movie <laughs> and you think it's way too far fetched. <laughs> like so extreme. That I like the whole night and we're so oh exhausted. And I'm like, I just puked in a bucket on the side of the road mm -hmm. and you pooped yourself. <laughs> And it's, it's 5 a.m. If this changes your view of me because I pooped myself in the car, I'm sorry. I am not a perfect human. Is it still recording? I don't know. It's still recording. Gosh. So, we get to the hospital. They put us in a room. Um, the doctors come in. They tell me to sit down because they don't want me to pass out. They put you on the bed. I'm still puking and so is he. Yeah. And so then, at least we're safe at this point. We're in the hospital. We're You're safe. having contractions. <laughs> they started filling your water birth. Yeah, you the water tub water thingy. Yeah. And then they tell her that she can't do a water birth because we're sick and all the rest. Yeah, you can't really be... It's very unhygienic if you're... Yeah, having if, fluids you're, if you have diarrhea 
and you're pooping all the time and, and you're, you're puking, puking everywhere. Yeah. They don't they didn't want to do a water birth because that's not sanitary. Anyways, they then put me on an IV drip because that's right. I yeah. had no fluids and I was really white. Obviously, you can't really go into like that would have been a really rough labor and I don't know if I would be able to yeah, and be they alive. Were like, you're really dehydrated and so is your baby, so we need to get you on an IV drip and get you some nutrients. And then they gave you something for the nausea. Yeah, they gave me uh I think they gave me Zofran, which yeah, is just a nausea yeah. medication. But that yeah, they gave me an IV drip for that, but that was the only like medication that yeah. I got because I didn't do an epidural or anything like that. Yeah. The labor seems to be going relatively smooth. They check you, again, they got you all set up. Yeah. I'm just sitting in a chair, trying not to pass out. Again, wishing I was like, man, if this would have been cool if I could have filmed all this, but I'm not filming this. This is miserable. They realize that they didn't test you for COVID yet. Yeah. So which is procedure. But mm -hmm. because we were puking, they had not quite done it yet. We'd only been there like 10 minutes, but they're like, oh, crap, we got to do a COVID test before yeah. we proceed any farther. So they... That hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so bad. Literally, I just, I'm laying on his bed and they just shove it down into my skull. Yeah, they do like the nasal like, like, and they did both sides. And apparently that's not super common. Like some people don't have to do both sides, yeah, but she did both my noses, my noses, my nostrils. Both nostrils. Oof. And that comes back positive. Yeah. So I've, I had COVID in labor <laughs> yeah. with the pukes. And yeah. the so now they're like, oh crap, you've been puking everywhere and you have COVID. So they lock the room down. Yeah. And they go sanitize the whole lobby and all the countertops. Felt and bad. they the, they go like mask up. They have this yeah, whole like triple masks with like cloth gown, like plastic gowns, so they can like not touch anything, and it's yeah. like up to their neck. And they've got like hair nets on and stuff, uh -huh. so they come back in in like hazmat suits, basically with yeah. triple masks. So we got roomed at five thirty. Yeah, you were dilated to five. Mm -hmm. An hour later, you were at seven. Mm -hmm. An hour later, you were at ten, which they didn't tell us. Yeah, they, just they didn't actually. They weren't really communicating or we weren't listening. I think we were both so out of it. I'm pretty sure my, I loved my doctor, by the way, but I'm pretty sure my doctor was telling us like where I was at every time she checked me, but we were just like still so yeah. out of at it. At one point. So tired. I've never been so tired in my life. Yeah. Your contract, they were having you to start pushing yeah. and I was like, I gotta be a supportive husband. And so <laughs> I like... I stood up and I'm like leaned against the wall and like trying to hold her hand. And I'm like, you're doing so good, babe. <laughs> and the nurses all stop and look at me and they're like, sir, you, you really should sit down. Yeah. You're going to pass out. And I was like, no, I'm fine. This is my duty as a husband. <laughs> and they take my chair and they turn my chair toward me. And they're like, okay, this is if you start to fall over, you can land in your chair. <laughs> so sad oh, so bad the nurses were so sweet too they like were really that sweet. was so hard like having to go to lab like go through labor pretty much by myself because like you were said you were i was so, out of it could not so be there and like i i wasn't mad obviously because i was feeling the same way so like i could relate <laughs> like i yeah. was laying on the bed i know i was looking i was giving you looks of like you're doing so good yeah but my mom was supposed to be there that's as well, right. because we had texted her because she was there when Hazel was born and um, just like yeah. super my, and my if, go to person. Yeah. If we weren't sick and we had a negative COVID test, your mom was going to come and like swap out with me and be with Cassie for a little yeah. bit and then see the baby when the baby showed up. Mm -hmm. um, but as she was on her way to the hospital was when I texted her and was like, hey, we just tested positive for COVID. And either she didn't get it or she got it and was like, I'm gonna sneak in and peek anyways, because your mom tried to sneak into the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> so we heard her come, we heard her in the hall, like behind our door. And I heard the nurses, they were like, wait. There's this lady out here in the lobby trying to sneak into your room. <laughs> as we're locked down for it's COVID. so funny. But, like, but oh, they, didn't, they didn't end up letting her come in, which was like really hard because I, I would have, it would have been really nice to have somebody who wasn't Some throwing up. Some support because I was useless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but it was, yeah. it was quick and fast. So that's good. Yeah. So really quick and fast. We were roomed at contractions at, five, at 4 a.m. We were roomed at the hospital at 530 mm -hmm. and Elizabeth was born at 751. Yeah. It was crazy. It was two hours and 21 minutes after we got to the hospital that you had yeah. a baby. Which is bizarre. I'm really glad we went. 
that because <laughs> no, you were in denial. Like, no, this. Can't I was be. like, no, it's not. I'm not having a baby right now. Yeah. But yeah, but she decided to come. Yeah. Yeah, it was like three days later, or whatever. But oh, side note, it was on my birthday, so oh, yeah. I went past my due date, and my birthday is on the 27th, and so is my father-in-law's my Travis's dad's, dad's birthday, um, birthday, and um. So yeah, so all three of us share a birthday now, which is mm -hmm. kind of fun. Like, I love having the same birthday as my daughter. Like, that's super cool. Yeah. So they ended up putting us in a different room, oh, right? Because yeah. they, they move you to a new room after you've had the baby. Mm -hmm. So we have Elizabeth. She seems healthy, all things considered. Yeah, super good. So they, like, clean her up a little bit. They move us to another room. As soon as Liz was born, I felt so much better. Like, literally, as soon as she was out of me... I just like, I don't know, like you just wake up. I think it's because I didn't you have that, that endorphin rush. Yeah, like I've heard it a lot. Like if you don't get an epidural, like your body like gives you like a natural recovery. Yeah, we didn't even type mention thing. that. You didn't get an epidural. Yeah, so I didn't have an epidural. Um, and then, which the same thing would happen with Hazel too. I didn't get an epidural, but like just as soon as they're born, your body just like gives you all this energy. And it was the same thing this time too. Uh, but yeah, as soon as she was born, I stopped puking. I slept for like an hour. Mm -hmm. I woke up, they, you, they had cleaned Elizabeth up. So you, I got to hold Elizabeth. I'm, I had, we do a video of that. So I'm, I might throw that yeah. up. We do a video. I ended up taking quite a bit of videos. Uh, yeah, just on my iPhone or whatever. So it's not great, but yeah. I but, wanted something. So we got to hang out there. I was starting to feel better. I think the last time I puked was right before we left the hospital. Mm -hmm. So we filled out all the paperwork and left at 3.30. I guess it's actually procedure to get people out of the hospital if they have COVID. And mm -hmm. since we had COVID, they were like, we're okay, we're okay with you guys leaving earlier than normal. And we wanted to get out of the hospital yeah, soon. Yeah, I did not want to be there. Because we had my parents at home with Hazel, who was still puking. So that we got to get home to my parents to relieve them of duty. Yeah. And, and we wanted um, Hazel to meet Elizabeth. Like, I didn't really want yeah. to wait a super long time. I didn't want to stay at the hospital. I'm not like, yeah. especially because I didn't get an epidural. I didn't get any medication. Like, there wasn't really I wasn't like the after labor too like I was recovering really well there was no complications so there wasn't really a reason for me to yeah. stay longer. and it would just be nice to get home to our own bed and food and yeah and, and, having an actual yeah, bed and see Hazel <laughs> let Hazel see Elizabeth mm -hmm. so we checked out of the hospital at like 3 30 ish mm -hmm. maybe a little after and we were home by four yeah it was bizarre that was crazy so it was from four to four yeah from yes, four, actually. 4 a.m. when you started having contractions, we were back yeah. home at 4 that afternoon mm -hmm. with Elizabeth. And we got to, Hazel got to see her. Mm -hmm. My mom had taken Hazel to their house. Yeah. Which is why in the video you see my mom walk in with Hazel is because they were bringing Hazel back home after we got home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That and was now crazy. we have two girls. Two girls less than under two years two. apart. <laughs> And I love it. I could not be happier. Hazel is such a good big sister. I was yeah. so worried that like either Hazel would feel left out and like really lonely because I couldn't play with her that much or she just wouldn't like Elizabeth and she loves her. She oh, She's such a good helper. Mm -hmm. Every morning when she wakes up, she has to say good morning to baby and she says good morning to daddy. Mm -hmm. And then when she takes a nap, she has to say good night to baby and, and she calls her baby because she has a hard time saying her name, <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's just such a blessing. Like could not be happier to have yeah, Two it's great. beautiful girls. And I stopped, like I said, we all stopped puking after that. Mm -hmm. Hazel was a little slow to recover from the puking. Yeah, she took, like, I think it was like four days, like four or five days after Elizabeth was born. She but was it, still, but it was progressively wasn't eating better. very much and still yeah. puking. But you didn't have a lot of COVID symptoms. You lost your taste. Yeah, taste and smell was gone. So we were so weird. on lockdown. The, the hospital told us 10 days when we left. We ended up being almost two weeks on mm -hmm. lockdown. We had some family members drop off dinners and stuff. Yeah, like a little um, meal train. Luckily, Liz didn't show any symptoms of any of the illnesses. Mm -hmm. So aside from like what you would expect of a newborn, like spitting up and stuff, Liz wasn't sick at all. Yeah. I had some cold symptoms, like sore yeah, throat and stuff. Yeah, we both started stuff, getting that. Which we could say, I guess we could say it was COVID, right? Yeah. They only tested me, but I mean, we all had like the same. Yeah. I don't know. Safe to assume I had it. Yeah. But who knows? I wasn't tested. She was tested. But you mm -hmm. lost your taste. We both had cold symptoms and we were on lockdown for two weeks. Yeah. And now we have two girls. Mm-hmm. Bizarre.
<laughs> so we'll see you guys but, in the next video. Yeah. Thanks for following Bye. along. Peace. Thank you. So we're in lockdown at the hospital in isolation because Cassie tested positive for COVID this morning, but... What's up? We got a baby. We got a baby. Yeah.